Hello, son of gold, and my brother, say my mind, and you don't die, give as you receive, and your release is Satan. This is the part 122 in the series How to Manifest Immortality, Christ Forgiveness, Season 2. And the name of today's season is The Relinquishment of Attack. As we have already emphasized, Every idea begins in the mind of the thinker. Therefore, what extends from the mind is still in need, and from what it extends, it knows itself. Therefore, what extends from the mind is still in need, and from what it extends, it knows itself. The word knows is correct here because the Holy Spirit still holds knowledge safe in your mind, through his impartial perception. By attacking nothing, he presents no barrier to the communication of God. Therefore, being is never threatened. Your godlike mind can never be defiled. The ego never goes and never will be part of it, but through the ego you can hear and teach and learn what is not true. You have taught yourself to believe that you are not what you are. You cannot teach what you have not learned and what you teach you strengthen in yourself because you are saying it. Every lesson you teach, you are learning. That is why you must teach only one lesson. If you are to be conflict-free yourself, you must learn only from the Holy Spirit and teach only by Him. You are only love, but when you deny this, you make what you are something you must learn to remember. I said before that the message of the crucifixion was, it's only love, for that is what you are. This is the lesson that is perfectly unified, because it is the only, the only lesson that is one. Only by teaching it can you learn it. As you teach, so will you learn. If that is true, and it is true indeed, do not forget that what you teach is teaching you, and what you project or extend you believe. The only safety lies in extending the Holy Spirit, because as you see His gentleness in others, your own mind perceives itself as totally harmless. Once it can accept this fully, it sees no need to protect itself. The protection of God then dawns upon it, assuring it that it is perfectly safe forever. The perfectly safe are holy burning. They bless because they know that they are blessed. Without anxiety, the mind is wholly kind, and because it extends beneficence, is beneficent. Safety, safety is the complete relinquishment of attack. No compromise is possible in this. It's attack in any form, and you have learned it, and it will hurt you. Yet, this learning is not immortal, and you can unlearn it by not teaching it. Since you cannot not teach, your salvation lies in teaching the exact opposite of everything the ego believes. This is how you will learn the truth that will set you free and will keep you free as others learn it of you. The only way to have peace is to teach peace. By teaching peace, you must learn it yourself because you cannot teach what you still dissociate. Only thus can you win back the knowledge that you threw away. An idea that you say, you must have. It awakens in your mind through the conviction of teaching it. Everything you teach, you are learning. Teach only love and learn that love is yours and you are love. Thanks, sounds good.